All right, welcome back. It is 745 on your Friday. The market has been seeing some ups and downs lately, and some are often describing it as unstable. And if you're trying to get your foot in the door right now at this moment when it comes to investing, you may not know exactly where to begin. And so joining us this morning to explain some of the positive possibilities is financial advisor Ernie Burns. Ernie, good morning. Good morning. And so we we're just asking, you know, off camera, is, just, is it fair to say this is a pretty volatile time right now? Absolutely. Absolutely. And then we have a little bit of a bounce right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see what happens. But it's definitely been volatile last year and a half. And, you know, clients maybe have some extra money sitting around. And, and, you know, anytime you get in a situation where you maybe have a little spending cash, it's hard not to just go splurge on something. But it's important that, especially now this time uh, in this climate that we're in, to try to find the right money moves to make. And what, would you, what advice would you give? Well, it depends on your time horizon. In other words, before you retire. But if you're in the 30s or 40s, this is, you know, like I've said in the past, stocks are on sale. Don't forget to pay yourself every month. That's the big thing right there. Don't forget to pay yourself every month. As you write those bills every month and pay those credit cards down your house note, put something to a mutual fund for yourself that you could dollar cost average into the market. If you're 50 and above, 60s, or even more so, yeah. be very selective on how you're investing. Mm -hmm. There are some opportunities out there though. Mm -hmm. And what kind of opportunities would you say? And, and, and really starting with probably approaching somebody like yourself to yeah. ask those questions. You first. want to sit down with a financial advisor. And when you do that, he will ask you a variety of questions. And I'm not talking about a broker dealer. I'm talking about a financial advisor. There's a little bit of difference. Point of take is you want to make sure that you are asking the right questions. In other words, I'm not retiring for 20 years. How should I be investing? Here's my expenses. I'm not, I'm retiring in a year. Mm -hmm. You know, here's my expenses. Here's what my expenses will be when I retire. This is what I want to spend. Specific questions and opportunities out there. There are several dividend stocks out there yeah. that are discounted right now because the market's been pushed down. So it is opportunities that you can take advantage of. And when you see the market down, you know, that can scare people. And we talked about it definitely is volatile right now. But what would you say to anybody who's maybe comparing it to things? I know that there have been things put in place to kind of ensure that we don't see something like we saw in 2008. And, but it can still scare people. How would you kind of? calm their fears a little bit. Well, over $3 billion has jumped into money market accounts the last three weeks. And here's the reason why. The FDIC will insure you 250000 but the SIPC will insure it to 500000 in stocks and bonds and $250,000 in cash. Yeah. So it's a little bit more insurance in a sense and more surety that you have when you're investing. So sit down with a financial advisor and give you, let them give you some suggestions. If it's within a year, you have CDs and treasury notes. If you won't need your money for the next three to six months or a year, you can invest in those type of securities. If, if it's a little bit over a year to two years, maybe a structured note, mm -hmm. uh, five years, definitely some dividend stocks and also look at a fixed index annuity. That gives you the ability to have some tax, tax benefits inside of it too and the money is safe. Yes, and at the end of the day, when you're looking at stock markets yourself, trying to make sense of it, it can be hard sometimes. You don't want to jump into anything without fully understanding it, and that is why you go and approach a financial advisor to really get those answers to your questions. Those do-it-yourselfers out there have gotten burnt. You know? <laughs> yes. uh, it's yeah. easy to invest in the bear market. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the bull market, in the bull market, but it's very difficult to invest in the bear market. Absolutely. And what's happened in the last uh, 10, 12 years, mm -hmm. people have gotten lost a lot of their own retirements because they wanted to invest themselves. Mm -hmm. How much, and, I, and when people sit down with my team and I, we're always I was going to ask them, okay, if you're investing yourself, but you want a little extra help, what type of software are you purchase? What type of programs? What are you reading? Mm -hmm. What are you listening to? Mm -hmm. How often? How many hours a day do you spend on this? Yes. You know, so Absolutely. you got to be careful. All very good, uh, good advice there. All right, Ernie Burns, thank you so much thank for you. helping us.